Hello everyone and welcome to this how-to video on creating physical machine backup jobs using the Kivo backup and replication. Before we start, make sure you've added the physical machine you would like to backup to the inventory. For this demo, I have a Windows PC in the inventory. To add a physical machine, go to Settings, Inventory, and Add New. Select Physical, click Next, and add the required details to the form. After entering the necessary information, click Finish, and Nikivo Backup and Replication will deploy a transporter to the selected physical machine. From there, go to the dashboard, click Create, and select Physical Machine Backup Job from the drop-down menu to open the backup wizard. In the Machine section, using the Physical Machines view, choose whether to backup all Linux machines, Windows machines, or both. When you select a category, Nikivo Backup and Replication will scan the inventory for newly added physical machines of that category and back them up automatically. Otherwise, simply choose Specific Machines from the Category drop-down menu to back them up. Click Next to proceed to the Destination tab. Choose a backup repository to store your backup using the Destination drop-down menu. You can store backups on any backup repository except for tape drives, as tape can be used only for backup copy jobs. If you want to exclude any partitions or drives from this backup job, Click Advanced Setup, then deselect them. Click Next to go to the Schedule section. Choose whether you want to schedule your backup job to run regularly or on demand. You can schedule the job to run daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, periodically, or run after another job if you want to run the job after a previous one is completed. For this demo, I will run the job on demand. Click Next to proceed to the Retention section. Nikivo Backup and Replication creates a recovery point for each physical machine in the backup repository and allows you to store up to 4,000 recovery points. You can choose to either store a specific number of recovery points or follow the grandfather-father-son retention policy. For example, you can keep one recovery point per day for 10 days one recovery point per week for three weeks, and one recovery point per month for 10 months. You can also enable immunability to protect your backup data against ransomware. This option is only available when Amazon S3 or local folder are selected for backup repository type. In my case, the immutability option is not available because I'm using a Windows-based backup repository. If you have a Linux-based backup repository, the Immunability option will be available. To configure Immunability, set up the Immunability Retention Period, and the backup will remain immutable throughout the period specified. Click Next to go to the final section. The Options section allows you to configure additional settings for your backup job. Let's go through them in detail. First, give your backup job an appropriate job name. Enable the App Aware mode to ensure that your backup is application consistent. With this mode enabled, Nikivo Backup and Replication quiesces all live services running on the physical machine, such as Microsoft Active Directory, Microsoft SQL Server, and Microsoft Exchange. Network Acceleration allows you to increase backup data transfer speed over WAN and Busy LAN. Enable network encryption to protect your data with AES-256 encryption during transmission over WAN. Under Full Backup Settings, specify how often to create a full backup of the selected physical machine and the appropriate full backup mode. If Synthetic Full is selected, Nikivo Backup and Replication will perform an incremental backup and transfer only the data that changed since the last backup. With Active Full, all VM data from the source data store are transferred to the backup repository. You can configure pre- and post-actions to perform specific functions before or after the backup job, or set up email notifications. Remember that the script you use has to be present in the director, 
Enable Truncate Microsoft SQL Server Logs and Truncate Exchange Logs to remove large transaction log files of Microsoft Exchange and Microsoft SQL Server. You can optimize data transfer by limiting the number of transporter tasks the job uses. To do this, enable Limit Transporter Load 2 and select your desired limit. You can also enable bandwidth throttling to offload your production environment. Finally, with the bottleneck detection option enabled, Nakivo Backup and Replication will collect and record additional information in the logs to detect bottlenecks. Once you're done, click Finish to start the backup job. And this wraps up our how-to video. Visit the Nakivo Resource Library for more how-tos and other useful resources.